the terrorist organization known as the Resistance, have been causing havoc on the streets at night. We urge you to remain vigilant. If you know anybody who could be affiliated with the Resistance, report them to the authorities immediately. and curfew bot working together if i'm gonna be honest that seems pretty sus hey, maybe he's taking it out for a walk let's not judge the kid yeah having a pet curfew bot is a totally normal thing well i ain't taking no risks so let's take it out before it comes back online lower your weapons this boy here is zayden his father used to be the leader of our resistance zayden i'm so sorry about your father he was a good man. I can't believe he did it. Your father was obsessed about rewiring the curfew bots. He didn't believe it was possible. But here in front of us is proof. Kesty, you're okay. Zayden, friend. <laughs> Kesty, what an intriguing name. You can call me Mr. K, by the way. We'll get Kesty fixed up, and I'll take you to the Resistance base. There's somebody there who'll be excited to see you. Well, here we are. Welcome to the Resistance. Zayden! I missed you so much! I missed you too. We thought you were... Uh, who's he? That's my friend, Gesty. <laughs> yes. Kenzie, meet Gesty. Gesty, meet my daughter, Kenzie. Kenzie. As you've probably figured out by now, this resistance isn't a terrorist organization. Everything you've been told is a lie. The curfew bots aren't there to protect us. They were built to suppress us. We don't know where they come from. But we do know that your father and hundreds of other Bacon people were deliberately murdered by them including your mother. After your mother's death, your father was driven mad with guilt. He stepped down from leading the Resistance, and vowed to protect you for the rest of his life. That's why he built Gesty, to keep you safe. Join the Resistance, and you can help us continue your father's legacy. I will, but only if Gesty can join as well. Consider that a deal. Welcome to training, new recruits. The Resistance can provide you with food, safety, and shelter. In return, we ask for your loyalty and commitment to the regime. We all have one enemy in common. But in order to beat them, you'll need to train hard over the years to become strong and fearless. And only then will you be rewarded with your mask to fight in the streets for the resistance. Zayden and Kenzie, you're up first. <laughs> Quiet down. In order to succeed, you must be prepared to fall. Only after failing will you learn to rise from your mistakes. Bacon soldiers aren't born. They're made. And only those of you who are disciplined enough to train hard will get to fight for the resistance.
Little Zeta and I'm impressed. You've come a long way in the last seven years. Yeah, I was just going easy on you this time, amigo. Next time, you don't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know. We'll see about that. I'm extremely proud of you both. <laughs> yes, you as well, Guesty. You three no doubt will become the best bacon soldiers the Resistance has ever had. Here are your masks. You can now fight in the streets for the Resistance. Fight for our freedom. Your first mission starts today after curfew. Good luck, bacon soldiers. Do you ever wonder what's on the other side of the wall? Past the forest? It's just wasteland, Zayden. It can't be. The girl I met, Primrose, she must have come from somewhere. I don't know, Zayden. She was my best friend. Our best friend. What happened to her? There were these guests in black. And a man. He called himself the President. Big soldiers report in. Over. Team 2 is ready. Over. Okay, good. Soldiers, get your masks on. It's showtime. Roger that. Hey, metalhead. Go pick on someone your own size, yeah? Soldiers, I believe that's a new record. Everyone meet back at base in 30. Hold on. What happened to Team 4? Ah, damn radio doesn't seem to be working. Um, have you tried turning it on and off? I don't know. I don't seem to be getting a signal for some reason. It's almost as if someone's blocking our transmission. Who are you? doesn't concern you. What I can do to you, however, does. What do you want with me? The bacon resistance has been causing us problems for a while now. I would like to stop that. You are going to tell me where the resistance base is located. No, no, I, I won't tell you anything. I do not want to introduce you to my agents because I know they will make you talk. So, for your own sake, tell me where the Resistance base is. It's been 48 hours and we still haven't found them. This is very worrying. What about the CCTV footage? Guess he's out there right now fixing the cameras. Should be back online any second. Ah, oh, perfect. 
Let me just rewind this back. Oh no. Those are the same guests I saw as a kid. What are they doing in Bacon City? The legends are true. Guests are real. And they're working with the curfew bots. But where are they from? And why are they here? The rumors say they're from a place known as the Guest Republic. A civilization populated entirely by guests. With technology far greater than ours. So they created the curfew bots. Unfortunately, yes they did. We've been destroying their creations. That's why the guests captured them. To find out where we are, to stop us from destroying their creations. They're here. I'm putting the whole place on lockdown. No one's getting in or out. have broken through our first line of defense. I have them on CCTV. They're coming down the stairs. Pause the CCTV. Look. There's a girl with pink hair. Primrose. No. Uh, it can't be her. She can't be one of them. She's not like that. I'm sorry, Zayden, but she's not the same person you knew. She appears to be their leader. This doesn't make sense. She was running away from the guests. Why is she working with them? She's not your friend anymore, Zayden. The guests are our enemies. Whatever the guests did to her, they've changed her. They'll be here soon. You and Kenzie need to find Guesty and get far away from here. If anything happens to me, you'll need to lead the resistance. No. We need to stay here to defend the base. I'm not asking you. It's an order, Zayden. But, Dad... You're the best daughter I could have ever asked for. I love you, Dad. I'll always love you, Kenzie. Zayden, your father will be so proud of you. What's the status, soldier? The whole building is on lockdown, sir. It is impossible for the guests to get through the door. No, it's not. What do you mean, sir? Never underestimate the guests. Oh my gosh. They're opening the door. Remember, Bacon soldiers, what we are fighting for. Our families, our freedom, our survival. Today we stand as one. Today we stand as the defenders of Bacon City. Need some help? You both shouldn't be here. I told you to get out. How can we just stand there watching while our people fall? Exactly. Bacon soldiers don't run away. <laughs> I certainly raised you both well. Well, I do apologize for interrupting your family reunion. It's come to our attention some apples have been turning sour in this city. 
As we know, a rotten apple quickly infects its neighbors. So I think it's time we cut you from your tree. Stand down now, and you'll make things significantly easier for yourselves. I'm gonna have to decline your offer. We will not concede to your oppressive regime. Bacon soldiers fight with honor and dignity. Very well then, as you wish. done an excellent job, daughter. So, you are the terrorist scum responsible for destroying my creations. Curfew bots are there to keep order, and when you destroy them, you create disorder. When you create disorder, unfortunately, people get hurt. I want your leader to stand up and show themselves, otherwise people are going to start getting hurt. Don't harm them. They've done nothing wrong. Oh, wonderful. If I'm going to be honest, I don't really like small talk. I'd rather get straight to the point. You bacon hairs have yet to learn that you're but a drop in the ocean. In time, you will thank me as your leader who set you free of your childish naivete. You will remember this day as the end of the Bacon Resistance. <laughs>